Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 80 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you as singers by answering your questions from all over and I'll give you a chance to ask questions later. But our question for this week comes from Jacob B. in Vienna, Austria and Jacob writes, Dear Justin, I liked your videos on the O vowel and the I vowel. I'm wondering if you can do a video on the O vowel. And yes, Jacob, yes, today is the day where we conquer the O vowel. And I'm super excited about it because really, the O is a high notes best friend. Good boy. So let's look at some characteristics of the O vowel. Ooh is a very extreme vowel because it's the headiest of all vowels. It promotes flexibility and helps us build our range better than almost any vowel can. This is because of its CT dominance, that's cricothyroid, whoa, dominance, versus TA, thyroarytenoid dominance, right? This is going to give us lots of vocal cord flexibility. The reason for this is the resonance is so contained in the head. We've got the narrowest embouchure, the most in the way of the mouth, and a pretty high tongue position as well. Two things blocking the exit so that the sound can resonate up in the head. For you formant fans out there, it's the lowest F1 and the lowest F2, making this vowel a closed vowel and a dark vowel. All of these factors together make it such a head dominant vowel and help us build our range. We'll look at the benefits later, but first let's look at some song examples and how not every oo is created equal. Here's some oo types. There's lots of different types of oo vowels that we use when we sing different styles of music. First a standard kind of oo, as in I've got you under my skin. I've got you under my skin I've got you deep in the heart of me So deep in my heart you're really a part of me I've got you under my skin Now in a more pop or R&B setting we don't want to do you, right? We don't say what's up YouTube We say what up YouTube as a pop star, I cannot be bothered to use my lips that much. So we've, with with You by Chris Brown, we get something like, I need you boo, uh-uh. I need you boo. I gotta see you boo. And the heart's all over the world tonight. The heart's all over the world tonight. I don't need to use so much. Now, on the other hand, we might have something like Alanis Morissette, a kind of rock song where we use a lot of mouth and drop things down, like in You Oughta Know. And I'm here to remind you of the mess you left when you went away. You, you, you oughta know. And we really drop things down. Another kind of time we would drop it down is we want to open that embouchure, maybe even in a legit song, a classical song. One of my favorites, If I Loved You, at the end. How I loved you. We don't want to have, how I loved you, you. Only the open embouchure of that ooh will cut it. And finally, what about a smiley kind of ooh, a la our friend Stevie. You are the sunshine of my life. That's why I'll always be around You are the apple of my eye Forever you'll be in my heart And that smilier, snarlier, more nasally resonant ooh vowel sometimes happens as well. So that's not all the oohs, but just some ideas of how not every oo is created equal. There's a lot of different variety. Next, let's talk about the benefits and limitations of singing on oo vowels. There's quite a lot of benefits to working out one's voice on the oo vowel. As we know, it's a high notes best friend. And later we're going to do an exercise that helps you to do just that, to extend your vocal range and to build greater flexibility because this vowel 
promotes great flexibility and also maximizes that head resonance. It also builds the headier gears and the lighter qualities to the voice. So there's so many benefits. But there's also some limitations. Sometimes people's voices are too light and the ooh vowel is not the way to go. It's got the least compression of any vowel and so you might struggle because of that. It's also the hardest vowel to belt because it's so closed. This is one of the reasons that we have to sometimes modify it a little bit more open on certain occasions. It's just the least powerful vowel overall. And it might cause you sometimes to switch to headier gears earlier than you wanted to go. Also, it can confuse neighborhood canines. <coughs> nice doggy. So let's do an exercise now. This is going to be hoong, H O O N G, hoong, on an 851. The exercise sounds like this hoong. Hung, hung. And the idea here is we're going to keep the embouchure the same in that puckered oo all the way up and down. Now, I know there's times where we will want to modify it, but not with this exercise. You're going to stay consistent in the front, and then the resonance is going to also stay consistent from top to bottom. That's going to help you even out your registration and also build range up top. So it's going to start a little lower for the ladies and get a little high for some guys, but let's try hoong. Hoong, hoong, hoong. Good for you. That's right. Stay consistent. Right on. That's it. Lovely. Stay tiny. Good for you. right and narrow that's great for you a few left and last one hung hung Fabulous work, way to stay consistent across your range. So Jacob and all, I'm glad you're enjoying these vowel videos. I know we're going to have some more vowels to come in the future, but today it was awesome to explore Head Voice's best friend, the oo vowel. If you've got questions that you'd like to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. So I encourage you, don't lose that joy. Don't lose that passion. Don't you dare let people tell you you can't sing. You and I both know it's not true. Get with a great voice teacher in your area, or if you're in New York, you'd like to Skype with one of our staff, you can visit us at www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com. Or if you'd like to sing in the comfort of your home, you can look at our Voice Lessons to the World vocal course. This is a 12-part video course that takes you on a singing journey from beginner to master. Hundreds of vocal exercises that you can do at home or in your car, anywhere you may be. Check it out at www.voicelessonstotheworld.com. Finally, if you'd like free daily vocal tips sent to you every day, you can sign up at www.dailyvocaltips.com. I'm Justin Stoney. Until next time, make a joyful noise.
but our question for this week comes from Daquan R in Toronto, Canada, and Daquan writes, Dear Justin, I love your videos, but I wish you'd release a vocal course that I can do at home. Is there something like this in the works? Question for this week comes from Heidi T in Kolding, Denmark. And Heidi writes, Dear Justin, I've heard that if you can speak it, you can sing it. But what if you don't like the 